Hello, and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host, Geekman, and today I'm going to teach you how to create 80s retro futuristic text in Photoshop. First, before we begin, a couple of assumptions. Assumption number one I am using Photoshop CC 2015. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, then some of the effects may not work the same. The second assumption is that I am using Windows, so if you're using a Mac, whenever I say hit the control key on your keyboard, that means hit the command key on your keyboard, and if I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that means hit your option key. Other than that, there are no major differences. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit a brand new document. So let's hit control N on our keyboard to bring up a new uh, file dialog box. And we're going to name this 80s retro future text. Uh, it's going to be at 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels, resolution of 150, RGB color 8-bit, white background, doesn't matter, we're going to be changing that. Color profile is what I always use, Adobe RGB 1998, square pixels, and we're all set. Let's hit OK and here we have our new image. Now, normally I would walk you through making the background, but for this tutorial I'm going to skip that and get straight to the main event, which is creating the futuristic retro text. So, I'm just going to take a starscape with nebula that I made earlier and put that up here. Now, if you're interested in learning how to create starscapes like this, leave me a comment below and I'll create a tutorial for making these type of starscapes with the nebula. Uh, other than that, right now this is what we're going to be working with. So, let's start by hitting T on our keyboard to bring up our text tool. Now the font that I'm using is called Viper Squadron Regular and I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, I'm using it at 325 point size, sharp, centered, the text color doesn't matter because we're going to be changing that using our layer styles. So now that we've got our font picked out and our choice is made, let's click and write in our text. I'm going to use Geekman as always. Let's hit the check mark, hit V on our keyboard to bring up the move tool, and let's move our text to the center of our screen. Now it's in the center of our screen, so now we can start putting in the layer style. And we will begin with a stroke. So let's go down here to our layer effects icon at the bottom right hand side of our layers palette and we're going to go straight to stroke. So here we are in stroke. Now the stroke size is going to be 20. The position is going to be outside. The blend mode will be normal. The opacity will be 100%. Overprint is unchecked. The fill type though is going to be a gradient. And we're going to create a custom gradient. Okay, so let's click on the gradient and create a custom gradient. Now we're going to use two color markers. The bottom marker here, that is color. This is color. The ones up on top, those are your opacity. So we don't want to mess with the opacity for this. What we want to mess with is the colors. So let's click on the first color. And The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change its location from 0 to 26%. And then we're going to click uh, on the color, and we're going to change its color and make sure that it's black, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then we'll hit OK, and we'll go to our rightmost color marker, and we're going to move that to the 30% mark, and we're going to change its color to FB FF92. Then we're going to hit OK and we have our color and everything is set, so let's hit OK. And we're going to make sure that our gradient is reversed, so make sure that is checked. We're going to make a line with layer is checked. Our angle is going to be 90, but we're going to change it from linear to shape burst. And we're going to do uh, dither is going to be unchecked, scale is 100%, so that's all good. Next up, we're going to put in a gradient overlay. So, gradient overlay blend mode is going to be normal. Dither is unchecked. Opacity will be 100%. And we're going to create another new custom gradient here. So click on the gradient itself. and We're going to bring up the gradient editor. 
Now we're going to need four different colors. So we've got two already, one left and one right. So let's just add two more just by clicking anywhere underneath the line you add in two more. So the first one is going to be at zero and the color that we're going to be using is 62005F, a nice rich purple. Hit OK. Then the second one that we're going to be using is going to be at 32%, so location 32%, and the color that we're going to be using is a lighter purple. So we're going to go with B11FAC. That's a nice lighter purple. Then we're going to go to the third one and we're going to make this kind of a yellowy orange color. So we're going to make that uh, color of F9E600. Hit OK and we're going to make sure that the location for this is going to be at 67%. Now the last one we're going to make that at 93% and the color is going to be a nice kind of orange color. So we're going to go with FD7C00 to give it a nice burnt umber orange color. Uh, now, an important thing that you can do here, if you click on one of these colors, you'll see that there are these midpoints and you can click on those and it says the stop for this, the midpoint stop, color midpoint is at the 50 percent location. Now between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 we want to change those midpoints to make the color change a little bit more dramatic. So we're going to change the, the center point between colors 1 and 2 to be 67 percent. So let's click on that and change its location to 67 percent. Then we'll click on the second one here and we're going to change that midpoint to be at 37 percent. So let's make this 37 percent. Now that we've done that we can hit OK and we're beginning to see a very nice look here. Now we're going to give this an outer glow. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, we weren't done with the gradient overlay. Reverse should be unchecked. The line with center is checked. The style is linear. Uh, the angle is 90 and the scale is 100 percent. So now we'll go to outer glow and we're going to make the blend mode normal. We're going to do the opacity is 100 percent. Noise is going to be zero and the color that we're going to use is again a kind of orangey color. So let's go with F4 BF 3F. Hit OK and let's see uh, technique is going to be softer spread zero and the size is going to be 111. Contour is going to be linear, anti-alias is unchecked, range is 50 percent and jitter is zero. Last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to give this a little drop shadow to help it stand out from our background. So we're going to make the blend mode normal. The color is going to stay black so make sure that that is zero 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 zero. The opacity is going to be 100 percent. The angle is going to be um, 120. We're going to uncheck use global light and then we'll change this to 120. Uh, the distance is going to be a 67. The spread is going to be zero and the size Oh, oh, I'm sorry, the spread is going to be 13 and the size is going to be 27. Uh, contour is going to be linear, unchecked for anti-alias, noise will be zero, layer knocks out, drop shadow will be checked. And that is the end of our retro futuristic 80s text effect in Photoshop. And you can see that the shadow makes it stand out a little bit. You've got this nice kind of uh, color going from purple to kind of a orangey outline everything and it's on a star background which I think gives it that 80s wow so that's it I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please leave me a, uh, a thumbs up or a comment please subscribe because there'll be new tutorials every Tuesday and this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials